Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we will go over, in my opinion, the seven most important dailies that you can do in Elder Scrolls Online. These go well with new players and veterans alike, as I will cover briefly how each one could benefit you. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with number 7 is your daily rewards. For each day simply log in and collect a reward. This is very beneficial for new players as they have a ton of XP scrolls, research scrolls, potions, and gold mats to help you give you that little boost. For end game players they sometimes give you a really nice lump sum of 100k gold, cosmetic items, and crown crates. It usually has a 20 hour cooldown window for each reward and is free for all players. Next up on our list is the daily and weekly endeavors. This is a type of currency that cannot be bought but earned in-game. Most of the items that can be bought with seals of endeavors are from the featured item or from the most current crown crates that are currently out. For new players collecting this over time could get you that mount a year later when you become an in-game player. All jokes aside, it is important to stay consistent in doing these each day as they do take a pretty long time to accumulate. Number 5 on our list is going to be the Shadowy Supplier. You will have to do the Dark Brotherhood questline to unlock this and use a skill point for the Shadowy Supplier passive. Once you've done this you can find the Supplier, who's an Argonian named Remain Silent in each of the Outlaw Refuge areas. Just simply open up your map while inside and look for the Dark Brotherhood handprint. The Supplier will give you three options to pick from each day which could provide you various goods, such as alchemy reagents for potions and poisons, edicts to get rid of your bounty, or a random piece of armor from the Sithis touch set. You do, however, have a random chance to get a really cool furnishing, depending on which option you choose, as we all know housing is the real endgame. Number 4 on our list is going to be the Dragon Guard Sanctum supply chest located on a small island off of southern elsewhere called Tideholm. All you need to have completed is the Dragon Guard operative achievement for the chest to appear. Hey, Once each day, not Here only can you get the New Moon Priest style motif pages and furnishing plans, but the chance to also receive alchemy reagents such as Dragon's Bile, Dragon's Blood, and Dragon's Rooms. Depending on which platform you play on, these reagents suffer quite a lot as you can only receive a small amount per day. Moving on to number 3 is going to be the World Boss and Delph Dailies from Zone DLCs. For new players, you can start at any DLC zone as they offer really great rewards and XP when turning in the quests. Don't be afraid to link up with friends to help you along the way, as you can share these quests and turn in multiples per day. For veteran players, I highly recommend doing the most recent DLC as it will provide motif pages and the most sought after furnishing plans that will be hot on the market today. As you can see, I received a purple furnishing plan that currently would sell for around 200 to 250 k this is not a bad method for any level of player looking to get millions. Next up, probably the second most important daily in my opinion, is visiting the Stable Master on each of your tunes. Out of the three to level, I highly recommend you start with carrying capacity, especially if you're just starting out, as inventory space can start becoming a problem early on. For end gamers with multiple tunes, your other tunes can act as little bankers when your bank space starts getting a little too full. Find one that is close to a way shrine and park your alternate characters there to streamline the process. Last but not least, number one is your daily crafting writs. But more importantly, and the most profitable out of all, is the jewelry crafting. If you have 13 plus characters like I do, my time and crafting materials are limited. It takes me around 20-ish minutes to finish 13 jewelry crafting dailies, and let me tell you, it's worth it. Not only can you get chromium and zircon grains, but you also have a rare chance of receiving a plating. Between my 13 tunes, I usually get pretty close to making a plating with all of the grains received. With 20-ish minutes making 85 to about 130k gold is not a bad day's worth of work. You can also receive other items such as blue and a rare chance of purple master crafting writs, surveys, and platinum intricate jewelry. I did want to make one honorable mention that didn't quite make my list of must-to-do dailies is your daily undaunted quests. These can be a bit time consuming compared to the others on my list, but it is also a very valuable daily. 
If there is anything that was not on my list but would be on yours, I would like to hear it in the comments below. Thanks again guys for watching my video. If you liked it, please leave me a like, and if you want to see more ESO content, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.